Maybe if you see the abroad where somebody have raped one woman, he went to court, several others who were raped by the same man comes out. They are not acting jointly, but because they have been a victim of the same but man, but both no, of, no. of you are saying you won the election. No, I took about saying you won the election. You two, you are saying you won the election. No problem. That is why we want to check the process. It is not the process that will say who actually, rightly received the right highest number of rightful votes cast in the said election. Because what is important is who received the highest number of rightful votes cast in the election, and who has a spread. So if we do the right things, this, this is what we are claiming now is because of the confusion that was deliberately created by Anik. Now, the Labour Party office is under attack. All the doors at the national headquarters have been broken and they have entered the office, purportedly trying to hold a meeting in the office. That meeting is not authorized by me, it's not authorized by the National Working Committee. The Labour Party is under serious attack, personally and individually, because of the case we have against the APC in court. All of this blackmail, all of this attack is tailored towards destroying the mandate that has been freely given to us by Nigerians. Nigerians must rise to the occasion defend their country, defend democracy, and defend the Labour Party. Thank you. I want to affirm, affirm. that Bola Ahmed Chinubu and Kashima, Kashim Shetima are the two people who scored the highest vote score as informed to everybody at the collation centre. Those votes were counted in 8 million Plus, and he was declared winner, having won over 29 states. The race for parliamentary elections has begun already, and we can see Labour Party is already galvanizing. PDP are galvanizing. That is the right thing to do, to begin a process early and begin it rightly. So I want to say to all the politicians, inciting people that this is totally unpatriotic. I cannot imagine how the obedience would have felt if they won the election. You do not know how the natives feel if you want to... Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is our country, Nigeria. These are the natives of Nigeria. They are the tribes, they are the tongues, they are the languages. They are the people that voted in February elections and March elections. Gentlemen of the press, we have come peaceably, peacefully, and for peace at the INEC headquarters. We are here to affirm that Nigeria is one indivisible entity country under God. We are also here to inform. inform. I want to inform. inform. I want to inform. inform. I want to alert. alert. I want to alert the nation that we recognize INEC as a conductor of elections, not a distributor of victory. We have come to an independent national electoral commission to affirm that elections are conducted by an institution 
Paul Aine, APC, PDP, NMPP, Labour Party all went into this contest with 18 parties. Let us note that over 90 million people registered. Let us also be informed that they had only 10 million new registers. Let us also notify that there was 84 million voters before 93 million voters. So the fact that people are new voters does not confer on them victory. Election is not spare part business. Therefore, people went out to vote and people won. Some people have been going around the country inciting, calling for a taboo, which they call interim national government. That will never happen, not in Nigeria, not in every, any African country that we support. America is currently handling insurrection against his own state. So I am certain that America, UK, and all nations will not promote insurrection in our nation. We want to tell you that they have their rights to protest. Whosoever they are, they are citizens with such rights. But they do not have the right to provoke voters. It is a taboo for anybody under any guise, alcohol, or consumption to rise up, to call for interim government in this nation when we have INEC. We want to let them know that the same INEC awarded them victory as they won. It is the duty of INEC to conduct credible elections. It is the duty of INEC to bring in ad hoc staffs that applied. It is the duty of INEC to bring materials. It is not the duty of INEC to represent the police or represent voters. It is highest voters scored, not highest shouters counted. Elections were conducted by Nigerians, and these Nigerians include young people, citizens of Nigeria, not citizens of Russia, not citizens of Dubai, not even citizens of Mauritania. It was conducted, people won, and people lost. I want to affirm, affirm. that Bola Ahmed Tinubu and Kashima Kashim Shetima are the two people who scored the highest vote score as informed to everybody at the collation center. Those votes were counted in 8 million plus, and he was declared winner, having won over 29 states. The race for parliamentary elections has begun already. And we can see the Labour Party is already galvanizing. PDP are galvanizing. That is the right thing to do, to begin a process early and begin it rightly. So I want to say to all the politicians, inciting people that this is totally unpatriotic. I cannot imagine how the obedience would have felt if they won the election. You do not know how the natives feel. If you want to know, try us on May 29. Politicians should know that PDP won election. NMPP won election. Labor won election. Even other parties won election. And the reason why they couldn't win in certain areas is because they were not strategic with their candidates, either with their vice president candidates or their presidential candidates, or uniting their party 
or the differences on their tickets. I confirm to you again that we know, we are informed that Bola Ahmed Tinubu was elected on that particular day. And they are with Vice President Kashim Shatima. President Muhammad Buhari is the president of the country and is in full control of this country. The National Assembly is intact with Ahmed Lawan and Femi Bajabi Amila. Tell us, what's your message for INEC? My message is very clear. My message is very clear. This is one indivisible country and it benefits nobody that the country goes into flames. We have said elections were won and lost. This particular election, Bola Ahmed Tinubu won. He has called for healing. And because he has called for healing, we as natives, people who voted for him, are listening to his instruction. That's why, again, we are going to wave our white flag. It is a flag for healing in this country. Bola Ahmed Chinubu is already preparing for May 29.